god level bro okay hope we are live let's bring this to our second and let's make sure that i can probably stop streaming on discord and i can ah i think my face is getting cut off because of this this is much better i guess the quality is very low for some reason right Wait, guys. Sorry. I think I. I'll have to see how I can do it further. This is. Yes. This is not working for some reason. Mm hmm. This is weird. Camera doesn't. Get turned on. For some reason. Oh, because it is on and talk. Let me see. Ah, what's happening? Video capture. Enter. I'll have to start the stream again, guys. कोई आया तो नहीं था? नहीं ना? Nope. अरे यार ये कैमरा वर्क नहीं कर रहा है. बिना कैमरा के करेंगे? नहीं है. मज़ा नहीं आएगा. Mm-hmm. Yes. Guys, you'll have to give me one minute. Just a minute. Maybe we'll restart the stream, okay? Okay. All right. This time we are live again. Uh Yep, it's starting. Okay. Cool. I didn't have to restart anything. ओके बैकग्राउंड बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक सही है ना ज्यादा ज्यादा तो नहीं है ना हम्म आई थिंक इट्स नाइस आई लाइक इट बाकी होगा नहीं पता बट आई लाइक इट फॉर सम रीजन सही है ना सो आई एम गोना पुट दिस इज अ स्टेटस किसको म्यूजिक को हाँ हेलो हाँ करता हूँ करता हूँ ओके स्लाइड स्लाइड्स अभी तो तुम दिखाते हैं कितना कम हो सकता है दिस इज गुड देखना परफेक्ट है ना ठीक है ऑल राइट so i think we are live and i mean of course we are live okay let me open my stream chat over there so that i can look at the chat if anyone wants to chat and hop around and have fun all right um so na 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 it chale uski koi dikkat nahi hai hello sumanta de hi yaar uh, this is your first time in the channel right hi yaar thank you so much for joining वेलकम 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 गुड मॉर्निंग इलेवन एम हो रहा है सो इट्स स्टिल गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू यू डोंट हैव टू कॉल मी सर बाय द वे यू कैन जस्ट कॉल मी कुश और यू कैन कॉल मी कुशाश्व और यू कैन कॉल मी आई डोंट नो एनी थिंग दैट इज डिसेंट इनफ सो सर मत बुलाओ यार चले तुम मेरे कॉलेज से हो क्या अभिनव के अरे हाय यार हाय गैस दिस इज़ योर फर्स्ट टाइम राइट लाइक ये तुम लोग पहली बार आ रहे हो आई डोंट नो आई नेवर सीन यू गैस बिफोर मतलब इट्स गुड आई एम वेलकमिंग ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं नहीं क्यों आए करके ऐसा नहीं बोल रहा हूँ बट आई एम जस्ट सींग दैट आई एम सींग यू गैस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो या थैंक यू सो मच बाई दे आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू गिव यू गैस अ फ्यू अपडेट्स वॉट आई बीन वर्किंग ऑन सो इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू हैज़ सीन माई गेट हब और आर फॉलोइंग इट दे इज़ अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन हु फॉलोज मी रेगुलरली ऑन गेट हब एंड जस्ट मेक श्योर टू स्टार माई रेपो जय अरे हाय हाय खुशी यार थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग इन पिंक ट्रिप हाय यार तुम भी सर बुला लो यार डॉक्टर खुशी इज योर गाइस क्या बात है थैंक यू सो मच यार इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम राइट काफ़ी टाइम हो गया आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू क्विकली एक्नॉलेज दैट आई बीन वर्किंग ऑन अ फ्यू थिंग्स सो इंटरप्रिटर इन गो इज़ वन ऑफ द थिंग दैट आई एम राइट नाउ वर्किंग ऑन 
so of course i was reading a book called writing an interpreter in go and i kind of really like the way it's managed pura organization structure book ka and even the whole fundamentals are cleared up plus thoda development wise bhi hai so i really like it so i hope you guys if you want to see me doing it please let me know we can do it live so this is one of the things acha mohit ke mujhe wo chat dikh nahi rahe the to maine incognito me khol diya yes main bhi padungi aapke sath yes let's go डॉक्टर एंड इंजीनियर सो दैट ऑल द इंजीनियर्स गेट लेड ऑफ एंड डॉक्टर्स इंजीनियर बन जाते हैं ताकि हमारी जॉब चली जाए गॉड लेवल सही प्लान है वट्स अप हाउ यू गेज सो दिस इज वॉट आई एम बीन अप टू लेट मी शेयर दिस लिंक विद ऑल ऑफ यू ठीक है इफ यू गैज वॉन्ट टू चेक दिस आउट यू कैन सो काफ़ी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टफ है लेट मी क्विकली शो यू एक थोड़ा सा डेमो बहुत प्यारा सा डेमो है ठीक है सो आई एम गो नॉट डू दिस आई एम गो नॉट जूम इन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू I hope you guys can see all this here. अगर बीच में कुछ भी लगे ना कि वो कुछ टेक्स्ट छुप रहा है मेरे कैमरा के कारण लेट मी नो अपन मैनेज कर लेंगे वो चीज़ ठीक है सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से गो रन मंकी विच इज़ द मंकी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज दट सो बुक बुक में जो नाम दिया गया है उस लैंग्वेज का इज कॉल्ड मंकी राइट सो सो दिस इज वे यू सी सो सपोज अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स यू एंटर एन एक्सप्रेशन राइट समथिंग लाइक दिस सो so, टोकनाइजर क्या करता है लाइक like, इनिशियल स्टेज में क्या होता है टोकनाइजेशन होता है विच बेसिकली मीन्स कि आप जो भी टाइप कर रहे हो उसमें दे ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट कि ओके वॉट इज थ्री थ्री इज एन इंटीजर ओके फाइन दे दे डोंट डू लाइक द टोकनाइजर डजेंट डू दिस स्टफ दैट ओके वेदर इट्स राइट और रॉन्ग राइट द सिंटेक्स इज राइट और नॉट ये सब उसका काम नहीं है सो इवन इफ यू डू लेट से प्लस 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 राइट इज जस्ट को ना गिव यू ओके ऑल ऑफ दिस ऑल आर लिटर आई मीन टाइप इज प्लस एंड द वैल्यू इज प्लस ऑल्सो सो दैट्स वॉट इट गिव्स यू राइट सो इट डजेंट गिव यू कि ये गलत है सेमी कॉलोन इज मिसिंग एंड ऑल सो दैट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग द पार्सिंग एंड ए एस सी जनरेशन होता है उसके बाद सब चीज़ें होती हैं सो इधर इस वक्त टोकनाइजर सिर्फ यही चीज़ करता है सो इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक इफ यू डू इफ थ्री इक्वल टू फोर एंड डू दिस इट विज इट्स गोना गिव यू दैट ओके टाइप इज इफ देन टाइप इज दिस पैंथिस ओपन पैंथिस थ्री इज एंड इक्वल टू इक्वल टू असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो यू गेट द आउटपुट राइट सो इंटरप्रेटर में मोस्टली यू कैन प्ले अराउंड एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वॉट्स हैपनिंग सो दिस इज कंड ऑफ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इन दस वट आई बीन स्टडिंग ओवरऑल ठीक है सो दिस इज वन थिंग आई बीन अप टू दी अदर थिंग्स दट आई बीन अप टू यू कैन ऑलवेज फाइंड ऑन माई ब्लॉग सो लेट मी क्विकली ओपन इट ऑन द अदर टैब एंड शेयर इट विद यू सो दिस इज माई ब्लॉग राइट एंड इफ यू गो टू कैटेगरीज एंड इफ यू गो टू डेली अपडेट्स सो आई बीन ट्राइंग टू अपडेट माई लाइक वट एवर आई हैव बीन अप टू थ्रू आउट द डे यू कैन ऑलवेज फाइंड आउट वट आई एम डूइंग सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर I was just going through some system design interviews and trying to find out, okay, what, what are the people think? You know, how do they approach a system design problem? And honestly speaking, these are like really, really good videos, right? So this is not a typical, uh, I don't know, like a tech influencer type videos that you will not find useful. So this, this is something that I really find myself, you know, interested in, and I was just going through all this stuff. So if you go to 14th November, that's where I started doing lead code. and i was just interested in what i'm you know what i can learn so yeah i was just uh, documenting all of this so you can go to my blog and just read out all the latest blogs over there if you want right although it's just something very personal and i mean everyone has to do their own stuff every day but if you want to just look out for some references you can also find them there i don't know why there are two but i'll have to fix this okay so this is one thing that i wanted to uh, let you guys know the other thing that is very interesting that i uh, recently did okay i wanted to show the demo of it maybe i can show it in uh wait i can show it to you right now okay so so if you are aware that i was also doing some lead code recently for interviews right and if you see that uh, this read me is there that just mentions that okay solving lead code problems in rust and this is the problem uh problem title and this is a link to the code right and this is also hyperlink to the problem title on lead code right so this is the problem solution right okay in rust okay now what happened to me that when i was just you know i started doing a lot of problems and i realized that okay this is getting kind of uh really tiring that i have to what i have to do usually is whenever i go to src folder you will see that these are all the files right so i have to create a new file i have to register it in src lib.rs right here over here so what you have to do is you have to register all the modules in order to run the test and all right so here you see that pub mod uh, and the name of the uh, module and all so this is there right now the problem is whenever i am completed when i have completed a problem i have to update the readme with the link to the problem 
with a link to the source code of the solution right and this is like really manual stuff that i had to do right so what i realized what if i could automate it and i could just you know expect a script to do it for me right so what i did was if i go to for example this file so i i created this syntax for myself that every file will have a title and a, and a link okay so starting two lines will always be a comment which says okay this is a title and this is a link to the problem just because you know i will i'll need this right so what i did was i have a title here i have a link now my rust code will automatically parse through this file find the first two lines uh delete this title and link because that's irrelevant and get the title here and the lead, uh, lead code link here once you have these two things what it will do is it will automatically create a readme file for you and it will uh, make this file for you so let me actually show the demo okay uh, so again what i mean is that this whole readme is self generated i have not written even a single line over here so everything is generated by my script automatically parsing through each code file trying to find the link right and that is how it is right so hey, hey hi haru i i think akashi you are the one okay hi yaar nodi make way for nodi khul ke bolo hore <coughs> sorry okay so if i do ls right so you see that what i'm going to have um if i go to readme.md sorry right so you see that this is the whole file that you are seeing also on the github repository right what if i delete this file okay so i'm going to delete this file and now suddenly it's a kind of concern that this is deleted right now what should i do the readme is deleted right so one thing i can do is i can just do cargo uh, run and hit enter now what that does is it calls the main.rs file that i have already and it will create a readme.md file for me and there you go see it generated this whole file for me uh, going through each code file trying to find the link to the problem trying to find the title to the problem and then also making sure that the code is uh, the the link to the code is also over here so that people can just click on this and find the solution right so this is auto generated everything is auto generated okay now let me actually uh, quickly show you how it's done if you are interested um so this is the whole file by the way it's 98 lines of code only no, nothing major usually what you should do is you should start with the main function look at the main function so what i have is i know that everything in github like on github whenever you want to say that okay uh, this is my file link right i always knew that okay it's going to start with kr shimali slash rust hyphen lead code then slash blob slash main okay uh, so i had this as a prefix already set up and read me prefix as well whatever i need in the initial content of readme so i have this uh, hashtag as a heading one rust hyphen lead code solving lead code problems in rust right and two strings so i also have an acknowledgement uh, variable where i just want okay then this should always go in the file okay so once this is done what i do is i create a readme.md file then i create a line writer for me for me right i start by writing readme prefix then i go to src lib.rs file So if you go to src lib.rs file right it's very interesting because you will find all these files so these are the files that have been registered okay whatever files that are not registered will not show up in the readme for example you see uh, it ends at 012 it doesn't show up for 013 and 014 right so those two files will not be visible in readme because they are not in the lib.rs file they have not been registered let's call it okay so you will see uh, for example lc012 product of array except self now i know okay so this is the name of the module i'm looking for and this is also going to be the name of my file so if you see that i also have this file lc012 product of array except self dot rs file okay and as i said in every file i have a title and a link so i can just pass and find the title and i can also find the link and i can just update the readme accordingly right so that's what i'm doing here uh, if i just quickly show you so you see if ip dot contains pub mod i'm just going to get the string from there and i'm going to strip the prefix from there pub mod and couldn't find prefix in case it fails so it's like you know the the values are also handled if they are not properly written if i don't follow the format i'm also taking care of that so it's kind of really good and i'm really happy about it right so it also needs to have a semicolon there then yeah lot of stuff going on there so i, I wouldn't go to the whole detail if you want to read the source code you can always do that so for me how i started off actually i started with creating a updated update readme.py because i have been doing python and c++ for long so i'm very comfortable designing this stuff in uh, python or c++ right and then of course rust comes up after that so i always do this whichever way i'm comfortable right now i will do it first that way 
because at the end it's scripting it doesn't matter if it's written in rust or if it's written in python as long as it works and as long as it does the job the most efficient way if it's required it's all good right so i started with doing it in um python i also had a debug debug mode in case something fails i can always print statements and all right and yeah this is what i did and then i decided okay now is a good time to start doing it in rust and that's that's where it all began it feels like i'm telling a love story right that's where it all began that's where we proposed our first time you know i started doing it in python it looks like that but yeah this is what i had done with my read code repository so you know i have a i have this habit of just going out of the line and trying to be more creative with my development uh, because i wasn't really happy doing lead code all the time of course uh, if you can find a good reason to do lead code i think it's worth it but of course i wanted to do more than that so that's what i found out i uh, i have also shared the link with all of you in case you want to see what's the main.rs file you can always look at the file okay so that is it that's what i have been up to right uh, i hope you guys liked it so far and i'm not boring you all but agar bore ho raha hai to let me know right i'm going to shift to hindi beech beech mein so that you guys feel like thoda home type but ha not everyone knows hindi so i'm going to uh, mostly stick to english here okay um all all right that's it and then we can start so today our goal is to so uh, this is one thing i wanted to learn uh, right i have already done django a few uh, a few years back not a lot but it's more than enough for me to be um to be at the stage where i can say that i'm comfortable in going through django tutorials or documentation and say that okay i know about it let's skip this page right so utna aata hai jahan pe you can say ah, i know okay okay let's skip this one let's go to the chapter 2 or chapter 3 right <coughs> so chapter 1 jitna aata hai abhi ke liye and chapter 5 or 6 tak padha tha us waqt theek hai so ek second guys सॉरी या अब मेरी आवाज़ बेटर है ठीक है ठंड है इसलिए आवाज़ बैठ जाती है कभी कभी मोहित मस्ती नहीं भाई मोहित गलत बात नो मस्ती नहीं लेनी भाई मेरी स्ट्रीम चल रहा है मजाक नहीं उड़ाना भाई का ओके एनीवेज इफ़ यू कैज आर स्टिल हियर आई एम गो ना स्टार्ट विथ जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क ठीक है एंड दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू लर्न टूडे बिकॉज मुझे जेंगो रेस्ट ए के बारे में ज़्यादा पता नहीं था वैन वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ यार 2017-18 में किया था ठीक है इट्स बीन अराउंड फाइव फोर टू फाइव इयर्स नाउ ठीक है सो दैट्स व्हाट वी वांट टू डू टुडे वी हैव ट्यूटोरियल प्रोजेक्ट सेटअप एंड ऑल अब मुझे टाइम लगेगा टू बी ऑनेस्ट लाइक हाउ डू यू विन क्रिएट अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एंड स्टार्ट ऑफ दोज आर द थिंग्स डेट आई मे बी थिंग्स हैव चेंजड सो आई डोंट नो बट आई नो दैट देर आर फाइव लाइक यू आर एस डॉट पी वाई व्यूज डॉट पी वाई ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स या एडमिन डॉट पी वाई भी होता था येस दीज आर लाइक ऐसे फ्लैश बैक में तो याद है सो दैट्स वॉट वी गोना डू सो इट विल बी इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर विथ जैंगो इट्स गोना हेल्प यू एज वेल राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो वट आई एम गोना डू इज आई एम गोना प्रोबेबली ब्रिंग इट हियर दिस इज मच बेटर आई गोना रोटेट इट दिस वे आई होप यू गैस कैन सी एंड आई एम नॉट ब्लॉकिंग योर व्यू बट इफ आई एम लेट्स डू दिस थिंग लेट्स ब्रिंग माई सेल्फ टू द टॉप बिकॉज नो नॉट टॉप प्रोबेबली बॉटम लेफ्ट इज ओके राइट Uh, guys, if you're here, please let me know if this position is okay, because rarely we will go to the bottom of terminal or web page. So I hope this is fine. This is much better, right? Anyways, you're not here to see my face, so you're here to see the code, right? I guess maybe. Or if you're my fan, it's okay as well. I'm kind of blushing right now. It's okay. Anyways, so here I am. Okay, we have projects. Let's start with stream. Uh, okay, stream already exists. That's great. Let's start with YT because I stream at multiple places. Wink, wink. Okay, so let's create a Django REST framework. Okay, and let's just create a readme dot md file. I'm I always prefer going through the documentation and starting from there. So that's what I'm going to do today as well. Okay, I don't feel that there's a need of tutorial as until the documentation is really bad. So yeah. All right, are you guys ready? Uh, whoever is in the chat, say yes. Say no if you're not. If you have any questions, let me know. कितने लोग हैं यहाँ chat में आज? Guys, if you're new to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe as well. Thank you, thank you, Mohit. <coughs> uh, this is not a question to Mohit, by the way. Everyone except him can answer. 
ऑल राइट आई डोंट थिंक कई यू कैस आर हियर बट यू जस्ट नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग ना शर्माओ मत यार ठीक है चले बोल सकते हो येस लेस को ओके ठीक है चलो थैंक यू यार आकाश ही अप्रिशिएट इट सैटरडे को मैं तुम्हारा सैटरडे ख़राब किया आई एम सॉरी आई होप इट जस्ट चांस नॉट टू बी थोड़ा बेटर ठीक है सो दे आर यूजिंग सो वॉट आई जस्ट एट वॉज ऑफ कोर्स क्रिएट टूटोल डायरेक्टरी दे आर यूजिंग वर्चुअल मोमेंट आई डोंट यूज वर्चुअल मोमेंट राइट नाउ आई यूज कॉन्डा क्रिएट हाइफन नेम एंड आई कैन जस्ट शिफ्ट फ्रॉम पी टी डायनेमो टू जेंगो रेस्ट सो आई एम यूजिंग कॉन्डा नॉट बिकॉज इट्स गुड और बैड आई हैव नो ओपिनियंस अबाउट इट सो वट आई एम गो डू इज आई एम गो डू जेंगो रेस्ट एंड पाइथन थ्री पॉइंट नाइन इज गुड इनफ Uh, so it should be all good. Okay, it's gonna install some basic libraries. The only reason I'm using Anaconda because I had it set up already. So I have see you. Uh, so I uh, okay. You guys will not be able to see this, right? Okay, I need to be very careful with the way I put this because my uh, camera is in bottom left. Hi, Topido. Uh, welcome, yar. Come, bolna, okay? Jada mat bolna. Mar khayega. Okay, so for example, if I do C O A E, right? What that means is I'm gonna do Conda activate, and it shows me a list of all the like available, uh, whatever you call like uh, environments, right? So I've created, for example, Django REST. So if I go and I hit enter, it's gonna activate that for me. So usually, what people do is they do Conda activate, and then they type Django REST. So using F C F, you can just do it in Linux that you can do C O A E, C O A E. Well, you guys will not be able to see this, right? Ah, uh, this is so bad. Okay, क्या करें यार? Okay, I don't know. I'll have to find a way. Wait, guys. Okay, I'll have to make it floating. Okay, now if I do C O A E, you will be able to see, right? So I have all the environments listed here. I can do Django REST, and I, if I can hit Enter, this there you go. So this uh, environment is activated now, right? So this is really good. This is something I really like as well, right? So let's now enter the okay. Okay, I need to fix this, guys. Sorry. Okay, this needs to go here. Okay, Django REST framework. So one thing with uh, Chrome is that if you have hardware acceleration enabled, that's gonna really slow it down, right? Okay. As I said, I want it. Okay, this is good. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna keep it on uh, top right. I'm gonna have it here. ठीक है यार बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेट हो रहा है ठीक है अभी तक ठीक है ओके जय थैंक यू ऑल राइट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी एक्टिवेटेड एन मोमेंट व्हाट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन इंस्टॉल द लाइब्रेरीज ओके सो इट सेज पेपर इंस्टॉल जैंगो एंड जैंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क कैन अ वियर राइट लाइक टिपिकल डेवलपर से नेम द जैंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क इज जैंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क इतना लंबा नाम रख के सही आई वुड हैव डन जैंगो हाइफन रेस्ट और समथिंग ओके सेट अप न्यू प्रोजेक्ट विद अ सिंगल एप्लीकेशन सो वी कैन डू जैंगो हाइफन एडमिन स्टार्ट प्रोजेक्ट इन टूटोरियल and dot note the trailing dot character yeah of course because you want to initialize it in the current folder mukhra dikha dun jay thank you so much yeah thank you so much for joining in and all the best for your college enjoy padhai kar lena na like topper pata nahi kaise game aur khelta hai kitna time nikalta hai okay so we have already initialized the project okay start project is still the same 5 years pehle bhi yahi tha then you all you need to do is django admin start app quick start okay so you need to go to tutorial again inhone do do folders bana liye if i am not wrong tutorial under tutorial okay bolna padta hai bhai ab kya kare hamari aadat hai meri buri aadat hai bhai main reko bolta hu padhai karo karke agar agar engineering kar rahe ho to nahi kar rahe ho to mat karo padhai kya jata hai theek hai so if i do ls and if i see okay start app quick start So I already have an app set up here. Quick start. Then they asked me to go to the previous folder. Okay, the project sh layout should look like this here. Uh, slash tutorial, and then you will have tutorial slash quick start. So okay, it may. I hope you guys can see this properly, right? So it may look unusual that the application has been created within the project directory using the project's namespace. Avoid names clashes with external modules. <laughs> Bored? Okay, you. Say you. Say you. लास्ट ईयर तेरा जय आई होप लास्ट ईयर है ओके सो वी हैव मैनेज डॉट पी वाई हियर इफ आई रन द मेन फंक्शन इज कॉन डू एग्जीक्यूट फ्रॉम कमांड लाइन सो आई नीड टू पास सम कमांड लाइन आर्ग्यूमेंट्स दैट्स फॉर श्योर थर्ड है ओके ओके मुझे तुझे बहुत पता है क्या बात है 
so they are, what they are going to do is now sync your database for the first time okay we'll also create an initial user named admin with a password of password123 we'll authenticate as that user later in our example okay that makes sense okay theek hai so let's do with python manage.py migrate i don't have to use python3 right cool so they have done this right content types 001 initial running migrations applying all migrations admin auth content types and sessions okay bhai maine kab hosting kiya ab life ne hosting ki hui thi main kya karu tujhe pata hai dost ki baatein yaad rakhte hain sahi hai bhai theek hai are mujhe sab yaad hai yaar kya baat kar rahe ho a to z sab yaad hai mujhe okay so we are going to create this ओके पासवर्ड दे वॉन्ट हाँ हाँ बहुत सिक्योर है ना जैसे ठीक है अरे यार अब ठंड है ना बर्थडे तेरा आ, है यार तेरा बर्थडे आता है दैट्स वट आई नो सी गॉड लेवल नहीं है भाई यार मुझे इतना इतना भी याद नहीं है तूने मुझे बताया नहीं कभी तेरा बर्थडे मैं क्या करूँ इट्स नॉट माई फॉल्ट ओके एनी वेज इधर भी ध्यान दो थोड़ा पढ़ाई भी कर लो मस्ती करनी है सबको सो फर्स्ट ऑफ यू गोइंग टू डिफाइन सम सीरियलाइजर्स लेट्स क्रिएट अ न्यू मॉड्यूल नेम्ड ट्यूटोरियल क्विक स्टार्ट सीरियलाइजर्स डॉट पी वाई विल यूज फॉर डेटा रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके सो यू हैव यूजर सीरियलाइजर एंड देन यूर ग्रुप ओके ठीक है आपने कभी विश ही नहीं किया कैसे याद रहेगा कॉल किया था भाई तेरे बर्थडे पे तू ही बाहर था और हर बार इसको पिज्जा की पार्टी चाहिए और कुछ नहीं सो फ्रॉम जेंगो डॉट कॉन्ट्रिक्ट डॉट ऑथ डॉट मॉडर्स इम्पोर्ट यूजर एंड ग्रुप and then rest framework say you can import serializers okay so rest framework is this is wow wow so you don't wait a minute birthday pe nahi birthday ke dusre din kiya tha kya acha yeah dekh birthday ke din jo paida hota hai na they they are still a child right like infant hote hain the next day they are better they can talk so i didn't want to disturb you just paida hua hai thoda time lagega bolne mein राइट थोड़ा टाइप कर लेते हैं ताकि पता भी चले भाई तो ये क्या है सिलाइजर्स एंड मॉडल सिलाइजर्स आर सिमिलर टू फॉर्म्स एंड मॉडल फॉर्म्स सो अनलाइक फॉर्म्स दे आर नॉट कॉन्स्ट्रेन टू डीलिंग विद एच टी एम आउटपुट एंड फॉर्म एंड कोडेड इनपुट सिलाइजेशन इन डेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क इज अ टू फेज प्रोसेस ओके सिलाइजर्स मार्शल बिटवीन कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप्स लाइक मॉडल इंस्टेंसिस इन पाइथन प्रमिटिव सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ मार्शलिंग बिटवीन पाइथन प्रमिटिव एंड रिक्वेस्ट एंड रिस्पॉन्स कॉन्टेंट इज हैंडल बाई पार्स एंड एंड्रेस नेक्स्ट डे दे कैन टॉक सॉरी यार सॉरी गेस अरे ठीक है ना यू डोंट हैव टू टेक दिस ऑल सीरियसली तुम रेस्ट फ्रीम में सीखने आए हो या तो ये सब सीखने आए हो बताओ ना क्या मे बी यू गैस ऑलरेडी नो इट ठीक है हाइपर लिंक्ड मॉडल्स रियलाइजर ओके सो यूजर्स रियलाइजर इन हेरिट्स फ्रॉम हाइपर लिंक्ड मॉडल्स रियलाइजर देन रियली नीड टू हायर समन इज फॉर द नेम्स ऑफ दिस क्लासेज गैस नन ऑफ दिस मेक सेंस टू मी राइट नाउ एज अ टोटल begna to rest framework so what is this feels about so you have a meta class inside this user serializer class which has a model equal to user which is inherited from here okay then fields you have url username email and groups okay we will see Let, let's just keep going on then you have a group serializer again it serializes dot hyperlinked model serializer right and let's have a meta class okay and then you have model equal to groups group okay fields equal to url and name okay that sounds good to me let's just make sure it's yeah so i auto format it because in newem you have a shortcut i can do a uh, comma l comma is my leader then if i do l i get a menu if i if you see over here that f for f it's format so here f means format so if i just press f it's going to auto format for me if i press capital f it's always going to auto format whenever i uh save the file so that's one thing i always do jay thank you so much for joining here uh, happy journey and good luck for your college maze karo aur padhai bhi karo of course notice that we are using hyperlinked relations in this case with hyperlinked models realizer yes now they are talking about it you can also use primary key and various other relationships but hyperlinking is good restful design okay they again they didn't talk about what this is uh but of course they don't have it hyperlinked somewhere as well it's kind of an irony Uh, depending on the name of this class, but it's okay. We will we will look at it. Okay, right now I don't think that's the very important thing we need to look at. Let's just keep going on. Okay. So then we have views. We would better write some views then. Okay. So right. 
so we have user view set and then we have group view set so api endpoint that allows users to be viewed or edited okay okay so you're going to okay okay so because you have a lot of users registered maybe and you want an endpoint that decides okay what should the users be ordered by date joined okay so you should also have a field like this probably permissions dot is authenticated it's a permission classes you have serializer class also you have use serializer which we already had initialized before that's where so that's where they are using it here yes so they have query set they have serializer class and they, they have permission classes okay so rather than write multiple views we are grouping together all the common behavior into classes called view sets okay user view set hmm hmm we can easily break these down into individual views views if we need to but using view sets keeps the logic view logic nicely organized as well as being very concise right now it's just an example so i i assume that it's not a big deal but maybe later on when views become kind of a huge deal maybe we will like to have separate individual views okay so what we need to do is from django.contrib.auth.models import user and group okay that's one thing from rest framework we are importing view sets uh and then we are also importing permissions why didn't they import in a single line by the way then also we have i hope you guys can see the code if you if you can't see the code na just let me know okay from tutorial dot quick start dot serializers import user serializer comma group serializer right okay what the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back No, this is fine. I think. Hmm, this is fine. Okay, so this this says what could not be resolved because yeah, I, I probably need to just have an init dot pw or something. We'll we'll look at this later. It's not a priority. It's just an LSP thing. We don't need a uh, render for now, so I'm just going to remove it uh, and create a views here. We also don't need this comment here. So let's start with class user view set. So and again, it's gonna view set start it's going to inherit from model view set okay a view set that provides default create retrieve update partial update restore and list okay okay not an issue we have oh, sorry query set equal to okay so that's an that's a variable that is taken from model view set i guess object dot all dot order by so okay so you're getting all the users and you're just ordering by date joined right that's it date joined Okay, what is next? Serializer class equal to user serializer. अच्छा तो ये leave ले लिया क्या? Permissions dot is authenticated. Okay, this is okay. Then you also have class group view set. View set. If you have view set start model view set. Then again you have query set equal to user dot objects. यार वो डिस्काउंट का है इसके में वन सेकेंड ओ सॉरी सॉरी ओके सो यू हैव यूजर ग्रुप डॉट यू कैन हैव ग्रुप डॉट ऑब्जेक्ट्स डॉट ऑल राइट ओके सो इज जस्ट गोना गिव यू ऑल द ग्रुप्स इज नॉट गोइंग टू ऑर्डर बाय एनीथिंग वंस वी नो व्हाट आर द फील्स वी कैन प्रोबेबली थिंक अबाउट हाउ टू ऑर्डर बट दिस इज फाइन यू गैस विल नॉट बी एबल टू सी दिस राइट नाउ इट शुड बी विजिबल ओके Serializer class, serializer class is what uh, group serializer. Of course, we have already defined it. Then we have permission classes equal to permissions dot is authenticated. Okay, this is also done. Okay. Okay. All right. We we will try to fix this later on. Let me see. Actually, I have in it dot py here. Okay. Hmm. serializers maybe the spelling was wrong from tutorial dot quick start dot serializers serializers this looks right to me nothing goes wrong okay we will see later i don't know we will have to see okay so rather than okay this is done right so now we have urls okay again urls dot py let's write up some api urls okay okay what i want to see what's going to be the output what, what are we even trying to do We are not ready to test the API we have built, so let's fire up the server from the command line. When we do Python manage.py run server, 
we can now access our api both from the command line using tools like curl okay yeah right so whatever okay you pass the authentication basic authentication i think you also pass the url that you're trying to access it will give you all the urls that are there and since you are the admin probably you have given the admin privileges let maybe before and that will work okay and we can also view it here okay this is good so basically we are just testing if we can get the users list and all i just wanted to get some context what are we trying to do here because of course it helps to know what are we doing right so we are going to define a url for users and groups so that we can just get the list of users so we'll, for that we'll have to go to urls.py so they already have some uh, documentation here about how you should use it i'm going to ignore it right i'm just going to make sure that okay i'm also not going to import everything blindly let's start by just looking at how they're doing it so they have a default router then they are registering the users here users and groups with the classes users view set and group view set wire up our api using automatic url routing additionally we include login urls to, for the browser api right okay in case they want to sign up so so here let's have some path so by default it's going to be empty then in that case you have router.urls we'll see what that gives us okay so again you see from here it's clear that we need a include import so it kind of helps you know if you don't import initially while you're going through the documentation it's always helpful that you start from the basic again for example here that router is undefined right so you know that okay i need to define a router and it comes from routers dot default router i don't know how you pronounce it router router uh, i think it's okay both ways so i'm just mixing it up so from rest in rest framework you imported routers and then you do just router equal to routers dot default router let's quickly look at this so default router extends a simple router class but also adds in a def default api root view and adds format suffix patterns to the urls okay okay that means you should just always use it if, if you don't know what to use right then you have another api auth okay so you have path api auth so whatever the address we'll get we we'll just append these paths to the urls over there and that's it will give us some it will point to the view that we are pointing it right now to so we have rest framework dot urls i don't know what that means so we have include rest framework dot urs and then we have namespace equal to test framework so we'll have to see what that means okay i'm not sure if any of you are aware of this by the way if you want to jump in and say hey you know i know this and maybe you're doing it wrong let me know there's no shame in accepting the mistakes and just trying to learn from there okay so we are just trying to do it together that's the whole sense of it right so this is done so we we have two paths okay we have just default if you don't pass any suffix and if we have api hyphen auth is there and over here we have router dot register we can do uh, our users okay so here we have router user view set okay and then probably we also have let's just replace users with groups right and let's also replace user with group okay so this is done we also need to import views that means from tutorial dot quick start import views right okay so this is done again on that error we can i mean so this this cross you see that's uh, lsp complaining if i show you this right so it also always shows me the errors that i'm getting through py right right that's the lsp i'm using for python it just says um they don't know what this is hmm. sorry kind of feeling sleepy okay so again this admin was uh, not access so it's not useful for us right now so this is all good okay so because we are using view sets instead of views we can automatically generate the url conf for our api by simply registering the view sets with the router class okay so that's the benefit of using view sets probably that if you're if you are just using view sets it will automatically generate the url configuration for our api so that means we'll al always have a users and groups suffix that's what i'm assuming because i did see it here that we were doing this right users and that was just working so it automatically registered that for us that's okay good now again if we need more control over the api urls we, we can simply drop down to using regular class space views and writing the url conf explicitly that makes sense okay by the way guys if you want to just jump in and say how is it going let me know right if anyone wants to talk about anything just you know please feel free okay uh finally we are inc including default login and logout views for use with browser api, API. that's optional but useful if your api requires authentication you want to use the browser api 
So I think that's what API auth is coming from. So they have this default login and logout probably. And that's what this gives us. Okay. We'll check it. We'll check this ourselves. Okay. So pagination allows you to control how many objects per pages are returned to enable it and the following lines to tutorial settings.py. So I can just do settings.py here and they have installed apps. Okay. Sorry. They have first rest framework. So we need to add the following lines. Probably let's start with the last line. If we want to add anything, let's start with the last. So they have default uh, pagination class. Okay. And they default it to what rest framework. No, not this one. Sorry. Rest framework. Hi, mommy. Thank you for joining. What's up? Book lag rahi hai mujhe, by the way. Uh, 15 minutes or उसके बाद आता हूँ। पंद्रह नहीं एक्चुअली बीस। मन ने भूख लगी है। ये सी आराम से आराम से ब्रो। आराम से। थैंक यू अम्मा। चलो ठीक है दिस इज़ रेस्टर्ड। ओके नाउ अगेन इंस्टॉल्ड एप्स। सो हियर यू हैव रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क्स। लेट्स जस्ट ऐड इट हियर। रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क। Okay, so this is done. So settings, uh, by the way, this is what they were referring to. So add rest, rest framework to install apps because we are using it now. Now we are done. Okay, so we are ready to uh, test it now. Mami Mohit namaste kar raha by the way. Uh, yes. Uh, and we can just run the server. Okay. Could not import rest framework dot pagination dot pagination for API setting default pagination class import error. Why? क्या हुआ मैंने कुछ मिस्टेक किया क्या सेटिंग्स और पी वाई लेट्स सी पेज पेज नंबर अरे लिखा तो था यार यहाँ पे अच्छा पेज नेशन ही कर दिया राइट इट वाज पेज नंबर पेज नेशन ठीक है सो आई जस्ट इंपोर्टेड द रॉन्ग वन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट इट हियर पाइथन मैनेज और पी वाई रन सर्वर राइट सो दैट्स हाउ यू स्टार्ट द सर्वर कुड नॉट इम्पोर्ट जिंग बिकॉज आई डेंट है environment enabled okay so let's just do it here so there you go so this uh, this is working now if i click on this link it's gonna open this right so you have users and you have groups okay so if i do if i click on this it's gonna give me authentication yeah authentication credentials are not provided so let's go on login right i forgot the password password i know password i did it one two three if i'm not wrong username i forgot <clears throat> It's good that we were not very creative while creating this. Okay, so admin example. Okay, it wasn't even at the rate one two three. It was password, password one two three, and then we have username as admin example. Oh wow. Oh sorry, that was email. Okay, the username was admin, and the password was password one two three. Wait, what's happening? Yeah, I entered password one two three only. Okay, let's enter password. And okay, let's enter password at the rate one two three. Okay, so I was just a bit more creative there. Okay, I didn't follow the documentation properly, and I did add at the rate. Okay, that's my fault. Anyway, so we have URLs over here. This is done. Then we are just testing. So right now I just open it, and then you you can probably see at the user list, right? So you already have it here. Uh, count equal to one, next equal to null, previous equal to null because we don't have any other users. We have U URL equal to users one, so that's the URL for admin user, right? Or application JSON uh, very we can probably do get JSON. So this is what you got for, uh, for the user, right? This is the admin user, right? So this is good. So this gives you all the users, and we don't we haven't assigned a group to this user yet, right? So let's go and see how we can just access this API using curl as well. Okay, so let's open. Uh, another tab in Tmux, right? And do uh, coe and then let's initialize Django REST. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do curl hyphen h. That's for the headers, right? Hyphen h means header. Application JSON indent equal to four. Okay. Then we're going to we are going to do hyphen u. That means admin password. So that's password at the rate one two three, right? So that's going to be the username and the password. And then we are going to give the URL. Okay. I hope you guys were able to see this. Okay, if not, I will just scroll down. It's going to be a bit challenging for me to manage where my camera is. I'm sure I could just see in. Uh, okay, 
there you go right it gives you the whole data in json format that's what we accepted right it all, okay so that's what that's what we had over headers right we are saying that we want a json indented as four if we had indent disabled you will see that in a single line i guess yeah that makes sense right so cool this is done you can also do http http ie okay i don't use it right now so i don't want to but curl is fine i don't, I don't have a lot of curiosity about this yeah so this is done guys uh, so we have already seen how to access the rest framework api for creating user serializer then user view set and all then accessing urls and you can how you can get the num list of all the users it could be very helpful if you're working in a company where you want the data of all the users through an api so that's what i think django is giving you so this is helpful i'm gonna pause here and let let you guys tell me how what you have learned so far did you enjoy it or not just you know let me know uh if anyone wants to see sorry i i had a few messages yeah okay i'm good now okay sorry if anyone wants to hop in and say that you enjoyed this so far let me know i'm gonna pause here i'm feeling very hungry i haven't had my breakfast yet um so i probably what so how much how much have we streamed 47 minutes that's more than enough guys come on you should appreciate that so we we are done with the tutorial at least you know the basic tutorial now what i'm very curious about is what are the what are the uh options we get from rest framework right that's one thing post this yo bro uh kahan post karna hai batao pehle what do you mean by post this sorry how was the stream by the way it was very short i'm pretty sure akash you already knew a lot of this stuff if we're doing it django and all but how did you like it was it engaging enough did you enjoy did you smile did you cry did you scream shit what am i seeing why am i wasting my time in this did you learn anything new post it to youtube yes 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 it will stay on youtube bro uh, so when when this live stream ends it will stay on youtube right and you can always rewatch if it was any useful <laughs> resource routing allows you to de quickly declare all the all of the common routes for a given resourceful controller god one thing if you have noticed right with ncert books if you have studied ncert before uh the most of the authors are scientists and all right um uh, and the the way they write the books is kind of easy to understand so it's good because they have been in a stage where they know what to uh, you know how to write but if you see the research papers when the very young researchers write the papers right they make sure to use terms which are not like really understandable for a even a normal researcher who doesn't know this field too much they use this vocabulary so that their paper gets accepted and like low level conferences actually <laughs> when they see a paper and they don't understand anything it's it's accepted right like so never trust if anyone shows in the uh, resume that they have two papers in their name on their name sorry it doesn't matter at all but of course if you have done something novel people will notice and that doesn't mean that they will get to know through your resume you will have citations on your name it was interesting let's see more streams thank you yeah thank you so much akashi i'm going to stream more hopefully i'm not sure how it is in bangalore i really don't know how easy is it to stream and how possible it will be but of course i will try my best anyways my next target is to explore this documentation try to see how we can use it right uh, what are the possibilities we can leverage from the test framework because that tutorial was a good uh, good start but what i want to see is how i can even integrate with other platforms yes so that's what i'm looking for and a lot of times you know you when you start you always have a use case with yourself and then you start using it so probably i just want to explore the authentication then i can just go, go through all this you know how they are doing it how they are writing the view classes and all and then we can go forward and do it okay so that is it for today guys i'm going to go have my breakfast uh, and we are going to see each other very soon probably today evening or today afternoon i don't know 
सो प्लीज़ फॉइन माई डिस्कॉट चैनल इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे अपडेटेड आई डेंट अपडेट टूडे बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू स्टे अ बिट कंसिस्टेंट बट आई एम स्टिल कॉन शेयर द लिंक आई होप इट्स अलाइव इफ इट्स नॉट लेट मी नो आकाशी यू ऑलरेडी हैव माई या दिस इज अलाइव ओके सो प्लीज जॉइन इट अरे हाय प्रभात अरे 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 वेलकम यार या इज बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम यार कितना टाइम हो गया आप लोग सो गुड टू हियर फ्रॉम यू यार कितना अच्छा लग रहा है तुम तुझे देख के इधर थैंक यू यार थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग थैंक यू सो मच कैसा है यार कहाँ है आजकल बहुत टाइम हो गया आप लोग बहुत टाइम हो गया आई गेस कॉलेज के बाद आई थिंक वी टॉक वंस फिर हम लोग यू मतलब तुम तो उधर भी नहीं आए थे ना कहाँ पे कॉन्वेकेशन में भी नहीं आए थे राइट वॉट इज़ ए एन एम ए एन एम क्या होता है भाई आंध्र आंध्र प्रदेश होता है यार अगर तुम्हें ए पी को ए एन पी लिखना हो तो अलग बात होती अच्छा ए एन एम इज़ द सिटी इन छत्तीसगढ़ ना ए एन एम क्या होता है आई एम बैक हाय मोहित यार थैंक यू मैं बस एंड ही कर रहा था जब भी तो आता है मैं एंड करने लग जाता हूँ भूख लग रही है यार बहुत तेज क्या कर सकते हैं खाली पेट है पेट तो पालना है ना राइट खाना तो खाना पड़ेगा ना मर जाएंगे ऐसे भूखे पेट सॉरी क्या है भाई कुछ नहीं है ऐसा कुछ खास है नहीं इसमें सॉरी बोलने लगे जा खा लेना ये से से जाता हूँ भाई प्रभात जाता हूँ भाई जाता हूँ थैंक यू सो मच या थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग अच्छा लगा तुझे देख के प्रभात ऑक्सिलरी नर्सिंग मिट यस देर यू गो अमेजिंग ग्रो अमेजिंग आकाशी अपन दोनों की काफ़ी जमेगी भाई चिंता नहीं ऐसे ऐसे बकवास जोक्स मारने में या फिर ऐसा ये ना कुछ गूगल सर्च करने में ये इसमें मैं बहुत एक्सपर्ट हूँ गुड टू नो दैट आई एम नॉट जस्ट ओनली वन ठीक है <laughs> चलो ऑल राइट गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन थैंक यू आकाशी मोहित प्रभात जय खुशी एंड ऑफकोर्स अभिनव एंड सुमंता हु वर देयर इन द स्टार्टिंग इन दे लेफ्ट probably they didn't like the stream this is okay we will try our best next time yeah because this is just the thing that i have not uh, mastered theek hai so of course acha abhi now you are still here thank you i am here okay okay sorry theek hai i hope uh, enjoy kiya tumne kuch naya sikha uh, agar koi feedback ho please let me know discord hai wahan pe please uh, please join hai na discord mein wapas link share kar deta hu yaar and अरे हाय दीक्षा यार थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सब लोग सब लोग तभी क्यों आते हो जब मैं लीव करने वाला हूँ तो कुछ तो है ऐसा कुछ तो ऐसा तुम लोग खेल खेल रहे हो हाँ वाई डू यू डू दिस टू मी सो प्लीज ज्वाइन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन एनी केस मैं आई विल स्टॉप नाउ मुझे भूख लग रही है बहुत तेज एवरी वन वोकअप वोकअप नाउ या सैटरडे आज कहाँ यार मैं सात बजे उठ के आई वॉज मैं नहा चुका था एट ओ क्लॉक तक शर्म करो थोड़ी वेकअप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग थोड़ा इट हेल्प्स इट हेल्प्स इट रियली हेल्प्स आई थिंक या बड़ा एनी मुझे ज़्यादा बोलना नहीं चाहिए सारी मुसीबत की जड़ आप हो यस थैंक यू नहीं यार अर्ली बर्ड हूँ यस बट मैं कल लेट सोया कल मुझे लेट हो गया सोने में मैं क्यों बता रहा हूँ ये सब बाय द वे यू कैज विल लाइक अरे क्यों बता रहा है भाई जानना ही नहीं है ओके चलो एनी वेज कैज आई एम गो ना आई एम गो ना गो स्लीप नॉट 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 स्लीप नॉट स्लीप सॉरी आई एम गो ना गो ईट एंड देन आई एम गो ना गो स्लीप एंड देन आई एम गो ना गो कम हियर आई मीन मैं इधर आऊँगा ठीक है एंड देन वी विल टॉक अगेन अबाउट सम अदर स्टफ ठीक है सो येस अंटिल देन हाँ ठीक है वो ठीक है बस यहीं पर यहीं पर ठीक है यहीं पर स्ट्रीम एंड करते हैं ठीक है लेट्स एंड द स्ट्रीम बिफोर यू कंटिन्यू सेंग समथिंग एल्स ठीक है टेक केयर एवरी वन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इन इसको रोको कोई ठीक है एंड डिलीट करने से कुछ नहीं होता बोलो पीपल हैव सीन इट चलो ओके गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग थैंक यू बाय टेक केयर एन्जॉय और कल से भी जल्दी उठना ठीक है टाइम से सोए करो गलत बात बहुत गलत बात मतलब ठीक है मतलब कहने चलता है चलो मैं जाता हूँ यार ठीक है बहुत बोल रहा हूँ ठीक है आई एम गोना स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग एंड आई एम गोना स्टॉप स्ट्रीमिंग पहले हम स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग करेंगे फिर हम स्टॉप स्ट्रीमिंग करेंगे वन टू थ्री बाय ज्वाइन लेट या 
अच्छा ये कोई बात नहीं यार आई डू इट अगेन दीक्षा दैट्स ओके थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग बट एनी सर ठीक है बहुत थैंक यू बोलता हूँ ठीक है बाय एवरी वन बाय टेक केयर बाय